Hello beautiful family. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you are watching this video. Welcome to part two of our 2025 exam mathematics predictions and the study guide or study focus where we need to study uh, on. In the previous video which is paper part one we looked at paper one and how marks are allocated, the number of topics you need, the number of uh, topics or the topics that you need to focus on uh, for you to you to pass your exam okay so for those who haven't watched paper one of our part one of this video i'm in i encourage you to look for it and watch it okay in the meantime let's go to paper paper two now like in paper one here um We've, we allocated marks. Even paper two, we're going to allocate marks. So these are the topics that you should what uh, you should do focus on. Look at this. Here, there are a lot of topics that we've we've left out. Why? They carry few marks, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't answer them in the final exam. Mm -mm. What I mean is prioritize in the exam. Okay. Your priority should be making sure that you've answered these major topics. Are we together? Very good. Now, look at this. Paper 2 is divided into two sections. Um, section A and Section B. For Paper 1, no sections. You need to answer all the questions in Paper 1 without using a calculator. Okay? Paper two, you are allowed to use a calculator. Okay, now, um, so I mean section A, 52 marks, section B is 48 marks, so in total 100 marks, and here 80 marks. So both papers in the exam mathematics is 180 marks. Look at this. For matrices is four marks in paper two. Section A is compulsory. You need to answer all the questions in section A. And the matrices comes in section A, usually first or second question. Wherever um, you're going to see um, matrices, just know that it's four marks. Okay? Now, matrices can come in three ways. They can either give you, give you a single matrix, and then they ask you a single two by two matrix, and they ask you to calculate the determinant. And the inverse of that function of that matrix, so rather, then the second situation or the second scenario where uh, they can bring two matrices, one two two by two matrices, one of which is complete. It has all the three, um, all the four elements or numbers. Then the other one only two, maybe two or one elements are missing. Then. They, they say they will give you this instru instruction that calculate the value of x, let's say x or y, the, any whatever any missing variable which is there. Calculate the value of x and maybe y, given that the determinant of the two matrices are um, uh, uh, the equal, meaning five first to find the determinant of the other complete matrix, then use it to find the missing what, variable. Um, or uh, yes, variable. Okay, number three, matrices. You can be given a single matrix, which is a two by two matrix, but maybe two, one or two uh, elements are missing. Okay, or members are missing. Then uh, you should expect them to be given to to, to, to give you the, the value of the determinant. Are we together? Very good. Okay, like you can see how I'm uh, presenting them on the screen. You should also. Uh, know that okay so that you don't get disappointed when you just focus on one kind of matrix then in the exam they bring two matrices then you just say ah i don't know how to answer that no we don't want that situation you need to get this and understand clearly sets sets this is usually yeah five marks okay usually five marks now, look at this. Sets, it can come in two ways. Number one, the first 
um, you may be given a list of items, I mean, a situation, okay, then you're asked to illustrate that information in the Venn diagram, or you may be given the Venn diagram, then you're asked to calculate from that. That is also simple. Simple, just need to understand basic uh, sets or set operations. Algebra, again. So even matrices is here, sets also in paper one, algebra also in paper one. So you need to understand these topics that's repeating in paper two. You need to understand them and study them very, very well because they carry a lot of marks. Algebra in paper, in paper two is usually seven marks. Whew. Wow. Seven marks. Yes. You've heard me correctly. Okay? Seven marks. So they may, be give, they may give you um, division and or multiplication of matrices. I mean, algebraic fractions. Okay? Algebraic fraction, that is two marks. Or they may give you a single fraction where you need to simplify it using factorization, applying factorization. Okay? Good. Good. That is also simple. So four marks. Then the other one is we are given two it can either be separated by a plus or a minus where you asked it to express as a single fraction three marks so when you add four plus three good seven marks so you need to understand this now look at this sometimes that question for three marks can come in section b with any of these okay any of these usually maybe trigonometry or cubic function or that's that question for two marks can come with trigonometry or cubic function, wherever you're going to find it, but just know that um, wherever you find it, if you pick that question like trigonometry, if it comes with trigonometry and you've selected, uh, you've picked that you're going to answer in trigonometry, make sure you answer it as well. Very good. Construction, construction. This is eight marks. Mm -hmm. Yes, eight marks. It's eight marks. Construction is eight marks in the exam. You need to know how to construct a polygon, which is a quadrilateral and a triangle, a three-sided what polygon or a four-sided polygon. So that's how it's what that's how it's done. That is construction. You need to know how to construct a three-sided polygon, uh, which is a triangle, or and a four-sided polygon, which is a quadrilateral. Simple. Now. You should also know vectors. Vectors, five marks. Okay? You should understand these as well. Okay? Vectors, five marks. So you should know them. Mensuration or calculus. What does this mean? Mm. In section A, if they bring mensuration, by the way, I have not even indicated here the number of marks. Okay? Okay, mensuration here is six marks. If mensuration is, is in, the, in section A, then calculus will be in section B with earth geometry. Are we together? With earth geometry. Now, if, it's, if, in, if calculus is in section A, usually in section B, there will be mensuration will be in what? Earth geometry. So don't, don't, don't get confused. In which, in, um, um, in a, a, either, just know that it is just a six what? Six marks. Mm -hmm. Any of the two is six marks. Okay? Pseudocode and fl or flowchart. Pseudocode or flowchart. Pseudocode, this is a program um, that is given. Okay? A computer program that is given in order to, to arrive at a certain solution. The steps, step by step procedure, that algor algor algorithm, step by step procedure in order to arrive at a what? At a solution. Now, it is you will be given a pseudocode and you need to convert the pseudocode to into flowchart or flowchart into pseudocode. This is simple and it's usually five. Five marks. Okay? Five marks. Probability. Probability is just five marks. Mm -hmm. Five marks. Maybe given may be asked to calculate to, 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 to come up with a tree diagram or just situation where you're not supposed to be to come up with a straight diagram, we just calculate, okay, which is just simple. All right.
GP, geometric progression. Geometric progression is, is usually seven marks. Remember, for section A is compulsory. So you need to focus, you need to study these. Okay? In the remaining few days, need to study this. Start studying. Okay? Geometric progression is seven marks. Now, geometric progression, again, it comes in three ways. Number one, you may be given the first three terms. That is the easiest. Okay? First three terms, when you are asked to calculate, let's say the nth term, the value of the nth term, the common ratio, the sum of the GP, sum to infinity, geometric mean, simple. The second situation, you may be given the first three terms, but they have variables, like they're just expressions. We have 1 plus x, comma x minus 2, comma x plus 3. The first three terms, then the first question will be find the value of x. Second question may be find the first term and the common ratio, something like that. And maybe they may add even to calculate the what? Eh? To calculate the, um, the, the sum of the sum to infinity, any question that they may add, okay? Then the third situation is, is the third uh, scenario is where you are given not consecutive terms. You may be given the third term and the 16th term, you see, they're not consecutive. We have term number, number three and term number 16. So you cannot calculate the common ratio because those are not consecutive. They're not following each other. No, what do you do? There is a way to calculate that and you need to know that. If you know these three, ah, uh, just mark yourself among the what? The living. Because you now know how to calculate what? You now know how to calculate geometric progression. Okay? This is one of the this is one of the subjects that you may be even proud of. if after writing your exam you say ah, I've got a distinction. Okay, because you can you can you can write yourself, you can mark yourself here. Okay, good. Other type of questions that you should focus on, my good friends, uh, uh, quadratic equations. You need to know quadratic equations. They are usually five marks in the exam. Thank you so much, and they don't miss in any exam. Now, section B. Section B. This is where you choose questions. You don't have to answer all these questions. No. Okay, each question, by the way, is 12 marks. So you need only to answer how many? Four questions of your choice. Okay, of your choice. But I, I, my, my, my advice is always choose that question that what you don't, you don't want to spend a lot of time calculating or solving. Trigonometry is one of them. The way I've listed them, it should be the way you're going to answer them. This is my advice. If transformation is, you can calculate, you can calculate transformation, you can answer transformation within a few minutes, well and good. But with me, okay, the student that I teach, I always advise them trigonometry, prioritize trigonometry as number one. And the trigonometry can either be cosine or sine rho. Cosine or sine rho. This is just the two. Linear programming is simple. You can finish answering linear programming within eight minutes. Okay? Within eight minutes. Now, now, there is um, what we call cubic function. Oh, by the way, let's get back to linear program. Linear programming, the first question sometimes, I mean, the first question, you, ask, you need to come up with the linear inequalities from um from the given passage okay those are the very simple questions if you if you are asked to come up with four linear inequalities you'll be asked to graph those four linear what, inequalities okay those inequalities so if one inequality is one mark graphing it is another one mark so you have two already okay you have two already so if you if you come up with four correct inequalities and graph them correctly that's not that you've gotten yourself from in maxi four marks okay four marks now cubic function cubic everything here is 12 marks okay cubic function this is simple 
The big function is also simple. It also comes in two ways. By the way, linear programming is just one way. You know it. That's the hammer. Okay, just to go through three, four answers, just do a little bit of practice. Okay, simple. Cubic function it comes in two ways. It can come with a table where you're given a table. The first question come with find the missing value uh, value the value of p. Let's say p. Okay, find the mean using the unit scale or the need to plot. So you need to graph. So one plus three is three marks by the way for graphing. So one plus three is four. So four marks. Then the other question is follow. Another situation is where it's already graphed. So if it's already graphed, forget about the first four marks. The first, yes, four marks. Okay, the one from finding the missing value, the one for graphing, because it's already graphed. So if this four marks is added, they add other questions down there. Okay, like finding the estimated gradient area bounded by the curve, something, something, something like that. Okay. Now sometimes the, the, the question and the cubic function may be coupled with coupled with algebraic question. So sometimes a calculus question. That's the one calculus question, okay, which carries three marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have earth geometry. Earth geometry is six marks here. Remember what I said earlier in section A that it may come with mensura either mensura mensuration or calculus question, which makes it what, 12 in total, 66. That is it. Uh, this is six, each six, to calculus six, mensuration six, earth geometry six. So one of these, when you add 12 marks. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, don't just master four, okay? No, at least four. That is just at least four, meaning greater than or equal to four, usually five. Also no statistics, because things change. Any of the questions here may be tricky to you, okay? Okay, maybe you don't know, mm, this one. How is how how do I start calculating this? As you are trying to think, you're wasting time. Just do statistics. Statistics is very simple as well. Okay, very simple as well. Now statistics. That is the first part is the standard deviation. Then the second part is where you have to complete the cumulative frequency or relative cumulative frequency curve. Then you find the, the last question, which is usually percentiles, quartiles. Okay, whatever question that may, they may bring. Okay, now there is um, grouped data and then grouped data when it comes to statistics. So you should also familiarize yourself with those. Okay, I prefer using the formula method for creating standard deviation um, to the table method. Okay, to the table method. All right, now this is the way it's supposed to be done. Copy this. This should be your guide. Write down and start following this. Okay, this will guide you as you be what? As you be studying. Okay. Part three. I'm going to show you how to maximize time. How how can you finish mathematics? Because most of you say mathematics is hard. But you can't finish time. Mathematics was I mean, the question was okay, but time wasn't what wasn't um, enough. Okay, I'm going to explain to you how to maximize time in the next video. Thank you so much.